What's up everyone? Welcome back to the most amazing channel on Earth, the Undying Blaze channel. Today I will be going back to playing Kerbal Space Program. I am super excited about this. I uh, turned off the music so I can actually focus on this. Uh, what I will be doing today is continuing my scientific endeavors. Uh, it's been a really long time. I apologize for the uh, length in between my videos. I have been very busy. Uh, but let's let's get started back in here. Back to the Undying Blaze, still year one, day one. I have been continuing my own scientific progress, um, going in uh, in my other little uh, saves. I got tons and tons of science points, but I didn't show any of you guys because I didn't record it, and so I'm going to, painful as it, as it is, uh, re- go through all my progress, so just for you guys, because I love you guys. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love you. Alright, um, oh yeah, I don't got, I have. Alright, got, is that scientific? It is. This is going to be sucky. Alright, what have I done so far? I'm guessing it's all just curb and stuff. If I landed on the moon, no. I haven't even left the atmosphere, have I? Alright. Good, good science stuff. Let's see what kind of, uh, cool ships I have. Alright, I'm the demolition enterprise thing. For science, mark one. For science, mark two. Because Kerbal science. Alright. Oh, this beauty. Oh, I remember you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. New one. We're going to create a whole new ship. All right, what do we got in here? Some basic fuel tanks. Uh, oh, good. My favorite. Okay, my favorite tiny, puny little rocket that doesn't do anything. This one's my favorite. Um, uh, no control surfaces, decoupler, good. Basic wings. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to attempt today to build a rocket that can get into orbit, uh, or, I don't know. I could probably build one that would land on the moon, but I'd like to wait a little bit. Get to space, take some mystery goo samples if I can. Uh, see see how it goes. So I'm going to plop that there. Uh, need a parachute first. Bing. Whoa. All right, just just little bits of science at a time. Um, that's how it goes. Where, what am I, okay, here. Whoop, thought I grabbed you. Let's see if I got this. I missed the music. I'm going to have to put that back on. That covers my logo, though. Ugh. Okay. Um. Might as well have this little tiny engine to help me land. I've played a ton of Kerbal. You can ask my fiancé. Um, a ton of Kerbal. But I haven't played this because I have exclusively wanted to save this for you guys. Because, as I said, I love you guys. I don't want to do anything without you. And you should be honored. Anyway. Uh, engines. This little guy. Bing. That's going to get me all the way into outer space. Right there. No, it's not. Not even close. All right. Uh, I think that one stage will fly by itself real easy. Uh, so I'm going to put a decoupler here. Make a three... Oh, come on, just click on it! Okay. boop -a doo Okay, and then... This stage will be... Oh, why don't I just... Six? Can I do six? Six work? We're gonna find out. Yes, six works. It looks freaking beautiful. Put 
that there. Okay, this rocket's going to be tall, so we're going to have to stand it up. If this rocket explodes on impact, mark my words, I will not be surprised. Uh, do -do -do, engines. Same engines. Got to put one more in there. Come on. Yes. All right. And then... Put one there. I can already tell this is not going to go well. Wait, I shouldn't say that. I could ruin this whole thing just by saying that. Uh, oh, let's copy this whole thing. Do, do, do. Oh, wait. Do 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 do. Oh, my mom would be so proud of me right now. All right. And yes, I know that I still have the couplers on the bottom of this. I'm probably going to take them all off. Is that enough rockets? I don't know. It's close. Uh, let's put nose cones on all of them. Boop. Boop. Thought that was going to take longer, didn't ya? No. You probably know more about Kerbal than I do. Hard for me to admit. No, it's really not. I don't know that much. I like to think I do. That is a lot of rockets. That is exactly what I hope this channel stands for. Lots of rockets, lots of explosions, and a lot of dying. Now... I I kind of like set up a false pretense uh, by naming myself Undying Blaze. However, I like to think that it comes with a good solid dose of irony. Meaning, if, if I wasn't called Undying Blaze, I would probably actually be pretty darn good at video games. I might not even die. But I have to uh, just have the most ironic name ever by dying all of the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as Yes, I I I have thought of a name, but I'm just not sure I want to put it on here. The Up Machine. Mark 1. I like it. Uh put a space there. Mark 1, The Up Machine. I should actually uh, change that to lowercase p, that way it doesn't look like I'm talking about Michigan. Y'all from Mich Michigan, you know what I mean, or from nearby areas. Alright, uh... That should be enough rockets to maybe get me into orbit. I'm not very good at this. This wouldn't help me. Um, we're just, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go right up into space. That's my... That's literally the entire game, is just deciding to go up in space. Fortunately, um... I've done it before, so I'm not completely clueless. I'm working on orbiting uh, planets and such. I haven't successfully uh, connected two ships in orbit yet. I'm really scared about that. It's a uh, very demeaning... I don't know. Is demeaning the right word? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to take this off right now. Well, soon. i got to be gentle on it, though. Wait, I didn't check any of the stages. This could be really bad. All those engines good. Wait a second, what's that? Okay, that's just the center one. Okay, aside from that, it was perfect. And that is a first. First time that's ever happened. Alright, let's take this crap off. Come on. Let's... That was beautiful. Alright. Slowly. I, I've done this before. They usually rip apart on me. Is having a darn good time. Holy smoke. 
halfway to space by now with all that rocket power. Got a nice little spin going. I love these little SAS tools they have in here. Oh my god. Before, you had to like figure out what those little things meant. I know I could have taken training on the darn Kerbal game menu, but training. No, I took it. I, took it. I did every single one except like the last one so far. It actually helped. I have never seen a separation more beautiful. Oh, yes. Now I should actually attempt to get into orbit. I was going to attempt getting into orbit earlier, but my rocket was spinning so much that I didn't even want to try. I'm going to... Let's go this direction. That is not good. Detaching. I can't. Nope. I am not. What is it doing? What are you doing? Stop. Stop just moving. Okay. Um. Just a uh, prograde. We're going to keep going the direction we were going. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. What is that? I have no idea what to think. Like, it's just... It's demonic. I am so con concerned right now. Just... This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. But seriously? Anyway... Well, that was fun. I'm not sure that orbit's a really good idea. So, because that just happened. But, let's go see what that sandy-looking place is. Let's go have a look, shall we? Look at this. No wobble of death. I mean you. I'm talking to you, Mr. Death Wobble. You know, I should have waited to see it go down into the atmosphere, because it would probably stop wobbling. It would look so cool burning up. Well, too late now. Oh, I should go up more. And to the lefty. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I'll just cut it out. I want to take a surface sample. That's kind of what I want. Um, and I know i got to overshoot it because the atmosphere will slow me down a lot. That'll do. Alright. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, mystery goo. Let's see what it is. No. Nope. We're resetting that. Don't get any science points. Maybe... I don't know if this is a separate biome. Is it? 
It looks different. I mean, it's a different color. This goes to show how much I know about everything. Okay, come on. Come on, be there for me. Is this going to be a good landing? Oh, look at that. It's it's shaping right up. I guess we can detach now. There's no way I'm going to miss. I'm above the area that I want to be in, and the farthest I'll go is in the area I want to be in. Now just the only worry is the actual uh, landing. Why do all my ships, like, when I design them to, like, plummet to the earth, they, like, flip and fall backwards? But as soon as I design one with a parachute on the top, it faces the freaking earth. All right, I'm going to, well, Kerbin. 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 All right, tilting back. And parachute. That was the engine button. Parachute! That was wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to turn it up so that the frame rate's a little bit faster. I'm sorry for torturing you all. Alright. I'm sorry that these first episodes are going so slow. Um, the later episodes will be going a lot faster, just based on my personal experience. I've gotten... I haven't gotten to any other planets uh, around Kerbin yet. I've gotten to the moon uh, in the other one, and Minmus. Minmus is amazing. The gravity is just pretty much zero. You just... It's so fun. The Kerbals love it, too. Uh, Jebediah in that one is floating out in space, so he never got to go. My goal is to never, ever, 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 ever lose Jebediah. I can't promise that's, <laughs> that's going to happen. But I love Jebediah. He's so adorable and useful to the cause. This is taking forever. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. Probably till that thing explodes. Woo! I pushed that play button right on time. I should have Alright. Anything from you, Mr. Mystery Goo? Oh, okay. Alright, let's put down the landing gear. I act like this is so epic, but I mean, it's just literally landing gear. Uh, computer froze. Yes, computer opened up again. Come on, I need to land. Don't do this to me. Freezes or my computer freezes or or something. Come on, Kerbal. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> I saved that at the last second. Y'all should be really proud of me. Alright, I'm going to, uh, observe my mystery goo. Woo! Three science. The goo seems to hate it here. Well, that's just too bad. Alright, crew report. Uh, 1.5 science. I forget how slow the beginning is. Until you get to the moon. There we go. And now you can hop on out, Jeb. Boop. Nice. Ten points. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo, take a surface sample. Lots of sand and rocks here. You're thankful that you've been in climate-controlled environment because it sure looks hot out there. The sand is dry and loose, and it looks like it's going to take some effort to clean your gear afterwards. Nine science. Nice. EVA report. No. A spacesuit was not entirely necessary to get here. Or was it? Why are they always wearing spacesuits, huh? Maybe everywhere... It outside of the space center itself is completely toxic. That's that's what I'm going with. Not really. That was a stupid, stupid theory. Uh, I don't want to plant a flag. That'd be stupid. Yes. Hop in, and we are going to recover this vessel. Another successful mission. By yours truly. I'm going to uh, go and see if I can buy anything. Oh, it, I might be able to. Okay. Let's see what I get for my next episode. Struts. It might end up being struts. Uh, I love all this other stuff, though. Mm. 
Struts. Struts, definitely. So, my next episode, and probably every single episode afterwards, will have struts! Hooray! Alright, well, it was very amazing making another video for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, you can uh, go ahead and punch the like button, and subscribe. <laughs>